So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another part of your video. In today's video I'm going to show you why sometimes your images do not load properly in Power BI and what you do to fix it. Especially if you're doing a lot of images like I am doing. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so I have been working on the JSON theme file. You know, I offer a um, file where you can actually get all the properties in a JSON file with everything in it. And one of the things I do is I actually have to update the images because I updated the pane, the format pane. And as you can see, not all the images loaded properly. By the way, this will be probably ready next week. I still have some work to do. Um, anyhow, why they didn't load it? Here's the thing. Some of the images loaded, some of the images didn't load, and that should give us a clue. So I went to the folder where I have the images stored. And you can see that the small images loaded, but the biggest ones didn't. So there is a limit. I read online afterwards, there is a 25K limit. I could not load, you know, if you look at my file and the 25K, some of the 25K did not load. So I actually need to resize that lower than 25. I set it to 20. And how I would resize all these with, you know, in a go, it's like it's such an amazing. Thankfully, there are a lot of services online. Let me show you. So I am on Windows 11. You cannot drag and drop things into the task pane, which is blows my mind. Anyhow, there is a service called easyresize.com where you can actually set the file size that you want. I'm going to set it to 20. And then you can just drop all the images. I need to drop them from you know, from different Windows works, not from the same window. So if you just drop them in, you know, it will resize all the files for you. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a big download button where you can download everything. You have to like go one on one and download them, but it actually doesn't take so long to do it. So you will go through them and download them. You can see them here, right? Read the terms and services because you never know if, you know, these Images, I don't care, but if I would have other images, I would definitely read the terms of services, okay? So now, let me show you another trick, because the images get downloaded into the download folder, nothing weird with that, but you can see that it adds some text to it, which is super annoying. I don't want that text, you know, on the file name. If you downloaded Power Tools, Power Toys, Power Toys, I think it's called. I'm going to post the link to, to the video where I show you. You can also night picker, by the way. But if you download that and install it, it comes with a power rename. So you can actually search for a word in your file name and substitute it with whatever. So here you say easyresize.com. I have the file names here, and this is how they would look renamed. Looks perfect. So click on rename. And voila, you have everything. Okay, so remember, if your images are not loading properly, you need to reduce the image. Use any service online that will do that for you, so you don't have to do it manually. It would be a pain, a huge pain. And you have the power toys. Make sure that you download it because there are a ton, ton, ton of features that are very, very useful. Okay, so enjoy the weekend. I will see you again next week. Take care.